Okay, next, next example, drop downs. This is a super common pattern, just hiding away content. You could put it in there, it can be very complicated. You could have complex forms. You can use this to create mega menu patterns, all sorts of things. Drop down is a super powerful pattern for being as simple as it is. Basic use looks something like this. You have something toggling it and the thing that is the drop down labeled with data drop down. Uh, the toggle is going to point to an ID just like everything else we've been saying. Um, there's not too many advanced cases because as I mentioned, this is super simple. But one quick thing to highlight is that you can actually have the drop down happen on hover instead of click. Uh, if you want to do that, you put the data attributes on the drop down panel, not the thing doing the toggle. Um, so you have data hover true, data hover pane true, saying show, keep showing this thing as you're hovering over it. All right, so if you enjoyed that training and you want more, maybe you want to be able to ask questions directly in real time or get more breadth, learn everything that Foundation has to offer. We offer live webinar-based trainings as well. There's a link up in the corner to check it out. I'm one of the instructors, but you'll get to talk to the whole Foundation team here at Zurb who's working with Foundation, using Foundation day to day. Check it out.